Mars has an atmosphere filled with fine dust particles, most smaller than three micrometers. At dawn, those grains scatter blue light forward toward the observer. Red light is scattered backward and diffused across the sky. When the Mars Science Laboratory launched in 2011, Curiosity was built to expect failure modes everywhere. Its purpose was direct, determine whether Mars once supported environments with liquid water. Gale Crater was selected because it preserves a thick stack of geological layers that record conditions over time. To counter that loss of scale, Curiosity carries the Mars Hand Lens Imager. That instrument resolves details down to about 14 micrometers per pixel. It was designed to act as a geologist hand lens, shifting attention from horizons to grains, veins, and fractures. becomes readable only at that scale. That perspective mattered on the lower slopes of Mount Sharp. These rocks that you see on the screen are dominated by calcium sulfate minerals such as gypsum. From orbit, Mars looks defined by size. Victoria Crater, explored earlier by Opportunity, is only about 750 meters wide. Gale Crater falls in between at about 154 kilometers across. From orbit, it looks contained. On the surface, the rim vanishes. The textures are mechanical records of chemistry responding to water loss. Lakes gone, evaporation exceeded supply. Chemistry replaced circulation. Across the planet, Perseverance explores Jezero Crater. The location is different, but the sky behaves the same. Dust still controls the light. Blue still dominates sunrise. On the ground, Perseverance found rocks that wind alone cannot explain. These shapes formed internally, not by surface wear. Mars preserves such structures because erosion works slowly.
internal geometry survives for billions of years. The scaly sulfate crusts of Gale and volcanic rocks of Jezero record different processes but the same planet. does not explain this. The leading explanation ties these textures to repeated wetting and drying cycles. As water evaporated, sulfate minerals crystallized inside the rock. Crystal growth caused expansion. The transition likely marks the final major era when liquid water persisted across large regions. As the sun sets, dust again filters the light, blue fades. Many surfaces show thin, flaky textures. Layers peel, curl, and overlap.
spread spreads outward. Above and below, Mars follows known physics resembling Earth long ago.